Just yesterday, a 60-year-old gentleman, a known diabetic and blood pressure patient, consulted me as he had suddenly lost his vision in the left eye since three days. The patient told me that he had a sudden shower of floaters or black dots in his left eye three days back, followed by a complete painless total loss of vision in his left eye. He had a similar episode of a sudden shower of floaters in his right eye too a month back, but it cleared off completely on its own in a couple of days. However, in his left eye, instead it progressed to a complete loss of vision. When I checked his vision, indeed, in his left eye, he could barely count my fingers close to his face. And when I checked his retina, he had advanced diabetic retinopathy in both his eyes. And in addition, in the left eye, he had severe bleeding inside the vitreous gel. This had caused a sudden complete loss of vision in that eye. What pained me the most was the fact that this well-educated gentleman was a known diabetic since the last 15 years and he had never had a single retina checkup so far. This singular incident has prompted me to share this small video series on understanding diabetic retinopathy. What, when, why and how. So let's begin. Hello friends, I am Dr. Bhavin Shah. I am a Vitrio Retina Consultant and Surgeon at Dr. I Institute, Mumbai. Welcome to our channel iLogs, which has everything to do with vision and eye care. I am sure you have already subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, please do so. And also, please click the bell icon so that you will get a notification each time we post a new video on our channel. Friends, in today's episode, we will be focusing on diabetic retinopathy. In particular, we will be discussing what is diabetic retinopathy and how does it affect our vision? What are the symptoms of diabetic retinopathy? When should I get my retina checked if I am a diabetic patient? Friends, diabetic retinopathy refers to several changes caused in the human retina by diabetes. As you know, diabetes primarily affects the blood vessels in various parts of the body including the heart, the brain, the kidneys and even the retina. In human retina, diabetes affects the blood vessels of the retina in two ways. Firstly, it causes the tiny blood vessels of the human retina to close down, thereby causing a decrease in the blood supply and hence the oxygen supply to the retinal cells. The human retina responds to this by secretion of chemicals called growth factors which cause the formation of new blood vessels on the surface of the retina. These new blood vessels, however, are very friable and they often bleed, causing a sudden shower of floaters or black dots each time they bleed. Sometimes, if the bleeding is very severe, they may cause a hemorrhage inside the vitreous gel of the eye. This is called vitreous hemorrhage. It causes a sudden complete loss of vision as it causes obstruction to the transmission of light rays entering the eye to the retina. These new blood vessels are supported by a scaffold of scar or fibrous tissue. This scar tissue may sometimes contract and pull or displace the retina from its position. This is called as fractional retinal detachment. This may cause a gradual progressive loss of vision which if not corrected surgically in time may become permanent and irreversible. Secondly, diabetes may cause the normal blood vessels of our retina to become leaky causing progressive leakage of fluid and cholesterol from the blood vessels into the retina. This fluid accumulation causes retinal swelling and affects the functioning of the retinal cells. If this fluid accumulation affects the central part of the retina called macula which is also the area of best vision, it is called as macular edema. Macular edema causes progressive blurring of central vision and also causes distortion of objects. So in a nutshell, diabetic retinopathy affects our vision in three ways most commonly. Vitreous hemorrhage or a sudden dense bleeding inside the vitreous gel of our eye 
from the new blood vessels which obstructs light transmission and thereby causes a sudden loss of vision. Tractional retinal detachment or displacement of the retina from its place caused by the pull or the contraction of the fibrous scaffold that is present around the new blood vessels. And lastly macular edema or swelling of the central part of the retina due to leakage of fluid and cholesterol from the retinal blood vessels. So what are the symptoms of diabetic retinopathy? Friends, early stages of diabetic retinopathy may cause absolutely no symptoms. Though examination of the retina even at this stage may show several changes such as blood spots or red dots on the retina, cholesterol deposits or yellow dots on the retina or even cotton wool spots or whitish patches which represent areas of decreased blood supply to the retina. But at this stage the location and the severity of these changes is not enough to cause any visual symptoms and therefore the patient is blissfully unaware of all the changes taking place in his or her retina. In the late stages however, one may experience one or more of the following symptoms. A sudden shower of floaters or black dots in front of one or both eyes. A sudden complete loss of vision. Blurring of central vision or even distortion of objects. When should I get my retina checked if I am a diabetic patient? This my friends is the most important message that I want to share with you as I am sure that a majority of you would know of some friend or relative who is a diabetic patient. The first retina checkup for a diabetic patient must be done at the time of detection of diabetes itself. Moreover friends, it is equally important that a follow-up retina checkup should be done once a year irrespective of whether you have any eye symptoms and even if your previous retina checkup was normal. On the other hand, if your blood sugar is high, fluctuating or if your previous retina checkup has already revealed some diabetic retinopathy, then you must have a repeat checkup done more frequently, say every 3 months or 6 months as advised by a retina specialist. Dear friends, please do not wait for symptoms to appear or vision loss to occur before consulting your retina specialist because by then you would have already missed the bus. Definitely prevention is better than cure and preventing diabetic retinopathy would indeed be the goal. But also remember that regular screening, early detection and timely treatment can prevent vision loss due to diabetic retinopathy. Dear friends, this brings us to the end of today's episode. Please stay tuned to our channel for more such informative videos and don't forget to spread the word among family and friends. Take care and stay safe.